In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the background color inside WordPress in a variety of ways. It's going to be a fun one. Let's begin. So the first method to change background colors inside WordPress is to check your theme controls. Mostly you're using or you'd be using not a block based theme because those are not, not really popular right now. So in most cases, you'll be using the customizer to make changes on your website right here. So I'm using the Astra theme, which is not a block based theme. So it offers the customization options right here. You can go to the customizer and find color options. So if I go to the global, I go to colors. I find a lot of color options and I also can see the site background color option available. And this Astra theme gives me a lot of options to change my background color. So I can click here and instantly I have few options. I have color, gradient and image. So I can choose any of these options. If I go to color, I'll have the color controls or color picker right here using which I can just instantly click or select a background color. Let's find the shade of blue that I like and I'll just add that, that as a background color. Beautiful, right? I can also change the transparency if I like. So that's also some additional controls here. If I go to the gradient, I have the choice of creating a gradient or one is already created for me. I can add more colors to the gradient if I like. So if I click here, I'll add another color here. Maybe let's add a shade of green here. And instantly you see that gradient is now alive on the background of my image or background of my site. I can also just move it around, change the angle, switch between linear and a radial gradient as well. And if I go to the image options, I have the option of uploading a background image, which will be used as my background. So I have plenty of controls inside the Astra theme to customize my background color. You can do the same thing in your theme, but your theme might offer different controls. Maybe it's just a linear background or maybe just a regular color. You can have all these controls. But what if, if your theme does not offer these controls or you have, let's say, a custom theme design or you just don't have any controls. So then you can use something called CSS. It sounds scary, but it's very simple. So we can go back and once you're inside the customizer, you'll see the additional CSS option here on every single website which using or which supports the customizer. So going here, you have the option of writing some piece of code. Now it can be scary, or, but it's not. What is the basis of writing the code? Well, we have to first find what is the background that we are targeting. And the way to do that is by using the inspector in your browser. So since I'm using the Chrome browser, I'll right click anywhere on the screen and I'll choose inspect. And once I have the inspector open, I'll click this button here, which lets me select the area that I want to target with my piece of code. So let's say I click here and I just select the entire site here and instantly see this div is selected. So div ID is content. And this is the most important part. What's the class? Class is site content. Now class is something that's you reused multiple times throughout your website to represent what will be the properties of a particular piece of content. In this case, site content is the actual class that we need to target to change the background color. So I'll just type the simple code. It's very simple. Remember site content, we'll just type a dot first because that's how you add the or reference classes in CSS site content and just open the curly brackets and inside we just define a property. So the pro property will be background color and I'll just choose the color powder blue. Very simple. So I'll just type in POW and it's suggesting that color already and instantly you see the powder blue color has been uh, applied to this background. Now, CSS can be a big rabbit hole. It can be easy or complex. If you understand or if you want to explore it, it can actually be actually be a lot of fun to customize your website with CSS. Using CSS, just to give you an idea, you can create gradients, you can create all sorts of fun stuff. You can target specific posts. For example, this setting that I just had it or this site content code will apply to the entirety of your site. But if you just want to target a specific post, you have that ability as well. So CSS is a wonderful, wonderful thing to learn. It's not very complex, but if you really want to have complete control or there's an edge case that your theme cannot provide to you, then you'll have to figure out some sort of CSS. I'm just giving it um, or I'm just giving an introduction here of what is possible. So this is these are the two or uh, I'd say obvious methods to change the background color. But what if you want to change the background color of the content itself, something that appears here inside the content? Let's go and talk about that. I'll clear this and go back to the site. So I'm editing a post right now on my website. And let's say, for example, I have written this piece of text here and I want to change the background color of this text. How do you go about doing that? Well, if you're using the recent version of WordPress, which is 6.1 or something, then you already have the controls right inside your WordPress editor where you can make those changes. All you have to do is select the book block first. So this is a paragraph block. I'll just select it and automatically you'll see inside the block settings. Just make sure the block settings are enabled. You'll see block settings, text and background color and also the link. 
So if I want to change the background color here, I can go into settings here and let's say the theme color says dark blue. I'll select dark blue. And of course, the text doesn't have much contrast. So I'll change the text color to white and beautiful instantly by not doing anything special inside using or controls provided inside WordPress. I'm able to change the background color automatically. Let's say I want to have more pieces of content just like this. I'll just duplicate this block. Control Shift D, Control Shift D, Control Shift D, Control Shift D or Command Shift D on a Mac. I've seen or you can duplicate this block and have the background colors for all these blocks as well. But you see there's a simple problem here, right? There's a big gap between each of these blocks. Now, this is not something that is a problem because this is how WordPress works. If you have multiple blocks, there will be typically a gap between them. So how do you ensure that the background color goes all the way and covers everything? Well, you have to convert all of your blocks or set of blocks into a group block. How do you do that? Just click you and hold your mouse and drag across all the blocks you want to select first. So I'll just go here and drag across all of these blocks. You see all of them are selected. I'll go to the three dollar menu and just click group. And this will create a group block and all these blocks inside the group block are the regular blocks. It's just a collection or consolidation of blocks. And the group block has settings of its own. So for example, you see I'm inside the group block. You see the group here. And this has the layout options. You can change the uh, content weight, pixel, margins, and all that good stuff. But you can also change the styles. So if I go to the styles option, I can change the typography. I can change the background color and text once again. So let's say if I want to change the background color of the entire block, I just go here, select dark blue, and boom, it's done. And of course, if you just type the content regularly, didn't change the background color for the text inside the paragraph, that's going to work as well. Right now, if I go here and change the background color of the text, from this to let's say something transparent or I'll just delete it or reset it. I don't know how to reset it, but if it was the regular color, no color, at least specifically to this block, the background color of the entire group block will still affect those blocks. So you don't have to start by first adding background colors to individual paragraphs and then apply it to the group block. You can just group them all together and apply all the changes of the background color, the text color directly to the group block and it'll apply all the well. So that's how you change the background color inside WordPress without using any external plugins or messing with any other functionality right inside the block editor. You have entire or entire set of controls you need to change the background colors. Let's talk about the last scenario where you need to change background colors inside WordPress. So the last scenario that you can run into where you need to change the background color of any of your posts is if you're using a page builder. For example, I'm using page builder seed prod right now, and this is a beautiful landing page that I've just imported using the free version of seed prod. You can check out seed prod from the links in the description. And if I want to change the, let's say the background color of this section, this is how you do it. First of all, uh, of all, we have to figure out where the section is. And sometimes if you're new to page builders, it can be a little difficult. So if you click any of these sections, you might not be able to figure out instantly where the section is but there's an easier way. Just go here on the menu here and from this section, just type in or click on this layout navigation and this will open up the navigator. As you see, I selected this heading and use this setting is here and this gives you a visual cue of how the page is structured. And since I want to change the background color of the entire section, I'll just look for the section here and click on it. And instantly the section is selected. You can see or the purple color here, and this will also represent the purple color on the screen, which means that the section is actually highlighted. And instantly you'll see the purple color also here. So color psychology being used here just to make it a connection easier. And also the settings for the section are now open here. You have the content settings, which is where the background color or background options are. You also have the advanced options where you have tons of the options. So you can have animations, borders, shape dividers, all that good stuff. But in this video, we're going to stick with background color. The background color options are here. So you have the same options that I showed you in the beginning of the video, the solid color option, the gradient color option, and also the background image upload. I'm going to demonstrate the solid color and the gradient. So if I have the solid color selected, I can choose the background color here. I'll click and the color pickle will appear. Uh, seed plot does support global colors. So if you have a global color palette already, just feed that into seed plot and you'll be able to use those colors throughout your website instantly without having to rework. But if you want to define custom colors, that's possible too. So let's say I select this U here and I'll go for this nice blue shade. I'm not a great designer, so don't mind my color skills. But let's say this is the shade of color I want to add. So I'll just do this and I'll close and now the background color has been applied instantly and I can save the post and it will be live. If I go to the gradient, I can use the same options. I have the radial option and the linear option. I have the angle option right here. For example, I set to 189 first and then I'll choose the colors. So I'll go here and I'll choose a shade of green once again. Let's say I choose this and I'll just add this color here. And for the second color, I just close this. Second color, I'll use a shade of turquoise and I'll just go here and add that 
or just to create some contrast i'll just go a little darker to select a shade of blue and now you see the gradient appear on the screen and i can just change the uh the angle here and instantly you see the gradient will change effect or change shape and you can customize it however you like you also have the location option so if you want to just make sure the transition happens at a particular position instead from zero to 100 then you have the first color location and the second color location as well so you have complete control on how to create the gradients here and you can also upload uh, an, a user stock image or just upload a background image and that will be used as a background so this is how you change background colors when you're using seed prod but this also applies to other page builders as well most page builders on the market support this functionality the interface might be a little different so if you're using any or any other page builder you'll have similar controls or where you can go inside any of the sections or even i say individual elements and just change the background color all right that's it for this video this is how you change background colors in wordpress if you want to continue your wordpress education i would recommend a couple of videos on the screen for you so you can watch and educate yourself further if you like this video like it if you have questions comment on it if you enjoy this tutorial subscribe to our channel you're watching Yuvraj from wb i'll catch you in the next video take care